I auditioned for Archie again and then they said, okay, we like you, but we want to audition you for Reggie. And I had a certain impression of the character. I thought he's going to be like a negative, mm -hmm. you know, uh, like cocky. an antagonist, cocky person who's uh, uh, playing pranks and, and, and getting outsmarted by everyone and outdone by other people. So I was like a bit iffy, but I, I knew that this project is, is, is of the scale that it is. So it's obviously going to be a fantastic experience for me to be part. But I think I'm able to filter out things that come from a place where you're trying to uh, you're trying to be constructive in your feedback or when it's something that comes from prejudice. Um, I will appreciate a comment that talks about like acting. the craft aspects of things, you know, like you want to talk about cinematography, screenplay, acting, all of those things are, it's it's good to see an opinion on it. But when it comes from prejudice that I, you know, I'm just not going to watch this film and uh, for so and so and so reason and people not even giving it a chance, then I'm able to filter those out. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this, so I'm getting used to this space. Dating Kushi, so there's no truth to that? No man, we're really, we're really close friends. I no. think we've connected on like, a, I have a really strong bond with her. Yeah. And um, we've just, we've known each other for so long. And uh, we connected on many things, like I said, like, it started from our taste in music. And um, so I think it just, our friendship comes across in a certain way that people are going to always perceive it. Hello everyone, I'm Rudrani and welcome to Zoom Speak Easy. My guest today has been internet's favorite topic of discussion lately. With so much going on in his life, with that debut as Reggie in Archie's, how can we forget why he's being discussed so much? Of course, getting so much love. Talking about Vedang Raina, hello. Hi. It is true though, you have been the topic of internet and uh, for a lot of good reasons. Have you gone through them is what I want to start with. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll be honest, it's I it's there, it's there for you to see. <laughs> and it's also the first time like I'm out there for the world to see sure. uh, first film. So you want to kind of, you know, no, see right? what's happening, yeah. see what the reactions are like. So, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'll admit that I have uh, <laughs> seen some stuff. I like how he's like seen some stuff. So I'm going to further go ahead and test how much you've seen. What's the funniest thing that mm. you read about you? And the most flattering thing. Oh, funniest thing that I read about me. Uh, what could that be? I mean, I see a lot of like random comments. Uh, there's some out there comparing me to certain people and so on. So I find <laughs> well that... Well done, you've come nearer. Now I will see which people. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not get into that. It's all. the fun part. <laughs> okay, fine. Whenever there's some comment kind of praising a performance, mm. And you feel very validated as an actor, as an artist, and you've put so much work into this. For me, this has been most of my adult life with this film. You know, it's, it feels like a three-year process since mm. I started auditioning and now with the release. So it's really, it's, it's very validating as an actor to be um, perceived well for your performance. So I no. think all of those comments are flattering. I like how he kept it to only acting. There have been a lot of simping, as we call it, in the internet going on as well. I've noticed. I've seen. <laughs> I have noticed it. I like how he's just like, I have noticed it. Is that all you have to say? Uh, to all the wonderful simping that's happening? Uh, I'm very grateful. I think <laughs> it's it's like a very cool thing to kind of <laughs> be at the other end of as an actor. And uh, it's great. I'm very happy. I'm happy with the attention. Of course. Yeah. Well, you mentioned something about... Uh, you know, it's been funny to read all the comparisons. You've been called Young Ranveer a lot, which I think is the greatest compliment. He happens to be one of the one of the Absolutely. greatest actors that is there. Absolutely. But uh, tell me how you felt when you were seeing, because a lo it's not just one or two. There were a lot of memes, a lot of things saying that, listen, reminiscent, reminiscent. So I want to know how you felt about all yeah, of that. Yeah, I, I saw them. I, I think... I mean, it's, that is also very flattering. I think he's, he's one of the finer actors we have today. And um, I, I love his performances. I love his films. I love how much he puts into his craft. And I can only take from it. So even that, even this very, uh, it's not a very substantial comparison. It's more to do with looks, but yeah. I'm very happy to be compared to him. This and is a very good looking actor. So that's again another compliment. Of course, of course. And I, I don't personally see it, but I guess if people are saying it, there's some <laughs> truth to it. Uh, but it's it's great, it's flattering. I don't want to make Vidang awkward anymore. We really hit it off off the camera. So we'll <laughs> get on to like, maybe some simpler subjects and get back to this again. Okay. But you know, you mentioned about the first day uh, of uh, 
from the auditions to now and you're like this is, this feels like a three year process mm. and you all of you all have pretty much given everything to it right you all had to sort of change your personal lives make sure you're like like you're all working out in a certain way immerse yourself in characters and stuff i want to know how that first meet with zoya was and when you cracked the audition like how that audition day was and finally when you got that message and met zoya for it and uh then of course the first day of the shoot to understand how mm. you had changed with all the prep and everything uh yeah so i think uh, the first time i met zoya was the audition that i had with her it was the final audition after multiple rounds of them uh so december of 2020 is when i first audition which is 3 years back and uh the self test kept happening and the final audition that i had which was like audition 6 7 i don't remember anymore mm-hmm. uh was with zoya which was so scary you know going going to the office and she was kind of taking the lines with me and she was there and i was you know i was like i can't mess this up um so that experience was great because she was very comforting um knowing that you know it's kind of a stressful atmosphere g- going into a room and her taking the lines with me uh, for the audition scene but she was very sweet and nice and i guess i cracked it there because that was the last audition i gave and i knew that if this after this i don't get a call back after meeting you know zoya then it's not going to happen for me and i think a couple of weeks after that is when i got the call uh, which i i i couldn't i couldn't process it in a in a normal way because i just didn't believe it when when it happened really? when i got the call I, i couldn't believe it so my reaction was a bit cold and i didn't even tell my parents for a couple of days because mm-hmm. you've been there as an actor when you say th- you're locked for things and uh, block your dates and then suddenly they'll say release your dates so i i've i'd been conditioned that way so i didn't take it in the way i was mm-hmm. maybe i was supposed to um but uh, then the first day of shoot it was nerve wracking obviously there had been a lot of prep uh, after i got locked and we went on floors so it was a lot of dancing lot of uh, workshopping spending time with uh, the cast So I guess the the atmosphere was a bit comfortable also uh, owing to the fact that everyone is new. Mm. So we were all starting together and there was like this passion and motivation that you know it's all our first films and we're, we're going to go on a set and you know do a good job. So I think that really helped uh, um, on set and the first day was nice it was nervous it was the first time it was you know I was on a set like you this. Yeah but the first shot the first shot Uh, it was i was shooting the cast announcement so all of us had gone to ut to shoot that cast announcement that came a couple of years back hmm. so i i think yeah the first shot of me was uh, me and agastya doing push ups on uh, <laughs> in the park so i think that was the first shot yeah well now you know where the simping has begun <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess yeah from there <laughs> from the push ups <laughs> from the push ups <laughs> yeah. uh, but though it's it's memorable now i think back it isn't it yeah yeah without if i tell you there has been so much discussion about privilege and that moment that you get to crack right how do you look at this process of an actor who is not really someone who has people here inside and uh, has been trying to crack i mean like you said it's you know i hold on to the moment till i know i'm getting it and before announcing it and uh, how do you look at it now because i know that you're getting a lot of love and there are more opportunities coming your way uh i just consider myself lucky i think i'm extremely lucky i only have the universe to thank because there's so many like factors that are involved in you know from on audition process to like getting the role and i'm just lucky that i that for my first project i got something like this mm. of the scale and uh, so many times it doesn't work out so many times it does so when it happens you're only grateful you only uh, you know uh, you're only thankful to everything that's happening so uh, yeah and now it's a bit different because uh, now it's like okay what's the next thing before that it was what am i going to get okay. you know now it's like you know maybe i have a choice to make it's not like i have a lot of options to choose from but the sort the, the decision making is a bit different the journey is a bit different but it's always going it's going to keep going on so i'm just taking one step at a time and and going with the flow there have been many rumors about a lot of filmmakers actually reaching out to you post this saw your performance i know the parent dikan and reached out to you and appreciating you and then there were others as well how much truth is that I mean there there've been people who um, from the industry obviously it comes with the territory sure with the kind of project that this was and mm. um we had the premiere where a lot of lot of people from the industry came so you end up t- talking to certain people and th- uh, there's messages there's communication um so that's there I mean there've been people who really appreciated um Tell me some that you really thought was 
you know, extremely humbling uh, again. So many people. I've, I've never been flooded with messages like this. From the industry? Uh, from the industry, from just, you know, uh, general audience of the film. Sure. And uh, everything has been flattering, to be very honest. Um, certain messages always are going to like, you know, remain close to me. Um, but overall, it's just been very, a very overwhelming, but overall, like, fantastic experience. So no one in specific that you want to single out? That no, you no, have. no one in specific. I, I like how he's this. smiling about it. I have also heard that apparently there are there, there have been some rumours about you getting uh, a chance to be a part of Jigra, which is Alia Bhatt's uh, production. What is there in truth I'm unaware. To that? I'm unaware. I, I like how he's smiling with a straight face. But uh, have there been interesting audition uh, offers and, and projects since? Yeah, auditions always uh, they keep coming and going. Um, now, I think even b before the release, it was a bit different. I was uh, auditioning a lot more. Mm. Now it's more, I think the process changed. I don't know how it goes. I'm very new to this. But I think the process changes. You're meeting more people sure. now, uh, listening to things. Because there's something out there for people to kind of see and go off of. Mm. So that changes. But things keep coming. I'm just going with the flow. The film is just released. I'm sinking everything in. And the next step will be when it happens. So you haven't signed anything yet? Not Contracts. sure. Contracts. Contracts, I don't know. difficult things to say too much. Yeah. So we'll get back to things that Vedang can talk about. I have tried uh, to get some information, but I'm sure you'll tell us soon because uh, I'm pretty sure that you have uh, people reaching out to you because your performance was appreciated. And coming to that now, what did you think of Reggie? You have spent more than three years, three years to prep and part of it, right? But you know, you've all been there and you've lived it. What did you think of Reggie in the beginning? Uh, the good and the ba bad parts? Uh, I'll be honest, so when, when I first auditioned for it, I was auditioning for uh, another role. For so, the Archie's. For Archie's role. And uh, those, uh, so I was invested in that character. So I, I'd been doing that for a couple of months. Mm. And I think December when I auditioned, till maybe Jan, I auditioned for the same role. And then there was a three, four month gap during COVID when nothing was happening. And I'd forgotten about the project. And then they reached out to me again. And I did. I auditioned for Archie again, and then they said, "Okay, we like you, but we want to audition you for Reggie." And I had a certain impression of the character. I thought he's going to be like a negative, mm. uh, you know, cocky. like an antagonist, cocky person who's uh, uh, playing pranks and 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 getting outsmarted by everyone and outdone by other people. So I was like a bit iffy, but I knew that this project is 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 of the scale that it is. So it's obviously going to be a fantastic experience for me to be part of. And I was in no place to say no to something like this. So I auditioned for it. And then I understood that I got the brief of the character. Mm. And I saw a lot of potential in it. I thought there was so much more depth to it uh, than, uh, than I could see in the comics. And Zoe had like, given it a lot you know, more interesting. There were a lot of more interesting aspects to the character. Yeah. So I played off of that. I think she wanted um, the essence of every single character to be of like innocence. Because we're all 17 year olds. So there was no animosity and you know the way it is, you'd assume it is uh, otherwise. So I think that innocence was kind of what I played off of. And keeping that essence of the character which is true to the comics still there. Like he is still a cocky, vain uh, person. He is full of himself. Uh, but there's, there's a lot more to him. So I think that's kind of what I played off of. Where did you take references from? And I, and I know that it just it's not just the comics. Otherwise, there are certain characters and actors that who have very natural swag. When you said cocky and vain, mm. you know, you know, you there are a lot of actors who played that part really well in the mm. past. I want, I want to know your influences because you got that part really light. It was a balance, not too cocky that you're put off by it, but just enough to play Reggie. So I want to know how that balance worked out. Um, I think my process to like approaching a character is just mm. to remain true to uh, the script and to the director Correct. and the references will come with it because it's it's a period film so my references ke uh, were based on on that you know kind of looking at things from from that era and looking at how people were in the 60s how you know like the style then was the the body language of people then was and so i kind of got into that more i don't think i had like straight references but obviously like the 60s culture so elvis presley yeah uh, when it came to dancing also, I, I tr obviously can't emulate him, he's a legend, but you know, kind of took draw inspiration from that, uh, from Shami Kapoor, uh, from uh, John Travolta in Greece. So, you know, kind of those yeah. those aspects I, I saw, but it kind of just kept it in the back of my head and brought to the table what I thought was 
me being true to the character, to the script, to the space, and to Zoya's vision. But you know, in interestingly, when you said that it was Zoya's vision, and you thought it's going to be this antagonist, or you know, some kind of negative uh, thing is going to happen with the character and everything. In the comics, he is a little bit of a bully. Uh, you know, he is that person, but. Zoya really flipped it with one particular scene, particularly with Dilton and mm. and Reggie. It's also a talked about scene. It's also extremely important, right? Mm. The empathy that you show for someone um, who is in love with you and you're not in love with that person. I want to understand uh, what you thought of the scene while doing it and uh, why it was significant also. I think that was, it was obviously quite a, I remember while shooting it also, it was supposed to be a scene with a lot of, um, depth and meaning. Mm. So when even Yuvraj and I were, you know, approaching the scene, something about that day was just so. It happens when you're when when you're uh, an actor on a set. Some days are just magical. Yeah. It felt like one of those days. Uh, you know, like everyone had kind of let left. Uh, the crew was a bit small that day. It was the last scene of the day. Uh, it was really dark. We were in Mauritius. Uh, no noise. No nothing. So you know, those kind of things add to the atmosphere of, of, of the space um, and uh, the way Yuvraj and I approached it also it felt quite it felt very real um, and uh, it was just I was just coming from a place where you know you it's someone you care about and uh, you understand your their feelings for you um, but you have to say it you have to express this to them in a way that it doesn't hurt them mm -hmm. you know it's like saying saying no to somebody yeah. Um, but he obviously means a lot to me regardless of that and I want to keep that friendship intact. So uh, I think, the, and it's connected with so many people that scene and I'm, I'm so grateful that I did it. It's the most rewarding thing as an artist that you know, you, you do a scene or something that's appreciated um, and uh, for this one in the way that it was. So yeah, I think it was, it was a good one. Magical as you say it. Yeah. But I love that that uh, it, it was done that way also because it's not there in the comics at yeah. all. That's not yeah, how it yeah. works out. And I think it was lovely. Some things I feel it's important to kind of uh, and in today's time to sort of reapproach and give it like another look. Yeah, I think it's one of those yeah, things, yeah. isn't it? Also, yeah, it, it was also from um, an era where this wasn't as as Absolutely. talked about as, as today. Mm. So, um, yeah, you have I mean, to keep you, that in mind. with you Sexuality know? as a subject or even yeah, yeah. Um, gender discussion never used to happen. Yeah, in like, the 60s it, was, it was, wasn't really a thing. So, to approach the scene in that way, keeping those things in mind, a lot of layers to it. Mm. So, yeah, I think it, it turned out to be a good one. You know, we are talking about the love, but we'll also talk about some of the mixed reactions that the film has also got. You know, you as an actor, you can only do your part the best you can, right? And which you have. I want to know, what do you do when you read the comments? Do you do you filter out things that you don't want to? Do you take it with a pinch of salt? Um, also because, you know, you're someone who wants to get feedback and wants to understand what works and what doesn't work from a very honest point of view. How do you look at it? I mean, I think I've, I'm very new to the space. Mm. So the comments, the attention, the reactions, uh, public perception, all of these things I'm, I'm still getting used to. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm able to filter out things that come from a place where you're trying to uh, you're trying to be constructive in your feedback or when it's something that comes from prejudice. Um, I will appreciate a comment that talks about um, like the craft aspects of things, you know, like you want to talk about cinematography, screenplay, acting, all of those things are it's, it's good to see an opinion on it. Mm. And it's art, like people are going to have varied opinions. Even the best films are, like people don't like those as well. You know, there's, it's always like varied opinions on sure. things. So I'm, I'm open to that. But when it comes from prejudice, then I, you know, I'm just not going to watch this film and mm. uh, for so and so and so reason and people not even giving it a chance, then I'm able to filter those out. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this, so I'm getting used to this space. But did you all have like a meet where you all were discussing the good and the bad? Did that help I mean, with the rest uh, of the cast as well? No, not really. Mm. Not really. I don't think... You uh, kind of moved on now. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think we, we're going to sit and talk about, um, sure. you know, like the way uh, the perception has been. But um, I think, yeah, I guess I guess we moved on. I don't know. It just feels like after release, it's just, it's just such an overwhelming wave of like things happening. Yeah. So everyone's taking it in their own way and, and kind of... I think it's wonderful how you all also have that bond. I feel like you could see 
uh, during promotions, when you're out there, there is a genuine friendship between all of you all. Whether it's you, Yuvraj, Akastya, Suhana, you know, Dot, Kushi, everybody. I want to know about first meets. How you, your first impression was when you walk into a room, I did this with Dot. You know, when you first met all of them, all your cast members, to till the end how you all became that friends and mm. because I think it's a learning, right? It's yeah. impossible that you think the first time when you meet someone that you understood them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I don't know about that. See, it, it was, we've spent so much time with each other. Yeah. It's been so, you know, we've kind of grown together, mm. it feels like, because it was most of our first films. So, first film, so it was kind of like we were learning and growing and understanding the way things work together. So that anyway brought us together. And the fact that we did so many workshops, uh, be it dance or acting, we were spending time, we were, you know, f in a space where we were vulnerable with each other and we were opening up and and we were on, on an outdoor scared where for one and a half months you're away from home and these are the only people that you have. Yeah. So we genuinely, you know, formed a very um, true bond a very like a real bond and I think that translates on screen as well especially yeah. if it's a film about friendship you need to kind of have that equation with the people you're acting with um, so I'm very grateful for these people I don't think I would have been able to do it without them because it's I would have felt very intimidated in a space where everyone was coming from some sort of experience or you know it, it felt very uh, we, f we felt like a group and we came together a bit more because we were all new and we were all understanding the space and, and the craft and all of these aspects together. So tell me how you would describe it, like a quality of theirs that you thought was like something that you admire and something that's annoying, like how friends have. Uh, no, nothing annoying, I think. Okay, what do you admire? Let's what do I thing. admire? I admire, like, there's so much to take from everyone. I think so Mihir, uh, he comes from a lot more experience than the rest of us. So I was always taking from him, like, you know, how he approaches, because he knows the technical aspects of things a bit yeah. better than us. Mm -hmm. We were coming on set and we didn't really understand what marks were and, you know, all the technical yeah, aspects. All the cameras of, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you kind of learn on the way and, and with, with the experience of actually practical experience. Correct. So those things I had a lot to take in from uh, Mihir. Um, so much from, like, each of them. Uh, Dot is just so talented. I, I was just... I was in awe of how she's so good at uh, music? music and I, I love her taste and I love uh, all of her songs and then she was able to like give in so much to this kind of craft and I also come from music a little bit so we were able to connect on that level uh, with each of them yeah. like Yuvraj and I uh, I think he's the sweetest boy ever he was giving his boards during the uh, during the film as well and I, I've also done my boards and stuff so I knew where he was coming from I was trying to help him with his studies so and we, we found a bond and even Aggie like first first time we met he kind of just broke the ice so we were all kind of just in this together and there was a lot to take from each other for all of us Suhana, so got, Kushi Suhana is I think I have a great bond with Suhana as well yeah. it was uh, we were just all together so much Kushi I think we connected on like so many levels we had a similar taste in music uh, it started from like, you know, day one only, we were kind of bonding on certain things. It, everyone just, as a group, it felt like a nice, close-knit family. That's what it really felt like. Oh. You all went on KBC. Yeah. And I could see that bond because you are getting teased a lot. Yeah. You being asked if you are single. So I will yeah, ask yeah. that, is, is a, uh, I mean, Dharam, you did say that you were. Yeah, yeah. But you why, would, why would it change? <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while. You're, you Barely. say so sadly. Listen, <laughs> please tell somebody has a. It's a it, this is sad. No, it yeah. can't. There's hope. You have to give people hope. So the last time you went on KVC, Mr. Mr. Bachchan himself said that it's, it's looking unlikely that he is because yeah. he felt that you are not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that has was, that changed? Firstly, I was so nervous in that space. I, I think. It was, I was sitting on that, on that chair and when you're in the moment, like things are flowing mm. and then suddenly I, I look in front of me and I see Mr. Bachchan and that music plays, I no, 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 and I, I'm like, what is happening with my life? I felt like I was in a dream state. So I was just a bit spaced out throughout that and we never asked. I didn't know how to respond. I was fumbling. I had to play my guitar and sing a bit. Yeah. I was messing all my chords up. <laughs> I was like all over the place there. Um, but yeah, those people asked that question and Mr. Bachchan was pulling my, le pulling my leg a little bit, <clears throat> I think. And uh, yeah, I think my answer is the same as what I said that day. Mm. Um, uh, when the time is right, whenever that is, 
hopefully it, it, the situation changes but as of now it's the same is the same yeah so there are there are a little little bit of rumors with all the sweet uh, promotional clips and everything else that you are dating khushi so there's no truth to that no man we're really we're really close friends i ah. think we've connected on like a, i have a really strong bond with her yeah. and uh, we've just we've known each other for so long and uh, we connected on many things like i said like it started from our taste in music and um so i think it just our friendship comes across in a certain way that people are going to always perceive it uh, you know in certain ways um but yeah I, nothing more to it sure i mean of course you're a friends you went to the christmas party and you all were that also right uh-huh. like of course He's yeah like, yeah uh, i was trying to think about christmas yeah yeah it it was this party yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that so you've been friends for a while let's uh yeah yeah but you know internet i think they like someone and they like to ship so it's it's not a bad thing shipping is a culture that sure, that you sure. also yeah yeah i mean people people do what they you don't kind of <laughs> want to do and you can't you can't stop uh, yeah you can't stop them and you can't hate on them for that it's no you can't i think yeah. it comes from a place of uh, i think a uh, love only i think it's yeah coming from a place of support, support and love it's yeah. a great thing it's a great thing to see i i i want to understand have you always been this person uh, who was a bollywood buff let me say like an indian cinema fanatic in mm. that person you know i want to know because you studied business Mm. and uh, you know you went to jamna bai and you went to doing business of course you sing beautifully you've done covers of songs so we are aware of all of that and music is something that you're always interested in thing yeah. is what i know but i want to know when did this this kida of acting and this uh, you know i want to be a part of the indian film industry and i want to do movies when did that happen and, and did you have instances where you were like obsessing over certain stars as a kid and all of that yeah yeah i think um uh I was actually a really good student in school that's where it started so I w- I I did science till my 12th grade okay. and I was quite good at my studies so I used to take performing arts and all of these things as something uh, as an extra curricular thing and it started from music I'm sure. um, during school I only played music I had this little band and we would perform in all these inter college fests and school fests and that was kind of where my life was at sure. and after 12th uh, I took a decision to leave science and get into business and to be honest i didn't enjoy business as much as i enjoyed science uh, i think it, it that decision came from a place where you know you you're always told here ki science le lo jab tak le sakte ho because then you can change to anything later sure. you know if you if you do humanities 12th mein then you would only be able to stick to humanities so i came from that mindset and i used to i used to be good at study so i said theek hai but when i went to business i realized it's it's i'm not uh, I, i don't enjoy the subjects as much as i did uh, in in school So that's when I really like started branching out into other things. I still was trying to be good in my studies, but uh, I sent my portfolio to certain agencies, and mainly it was kind of I didn't think of it as as a be all end all. Yeah. It wasn't like this was where my life is has to go because you just trying different things. I was in business, so I did some risk management, and I, I realized <laughs> I realized that you know there is it's a risky space. Like yeah. you you don't know it's 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 a chance that you're taking. Sure. And. Um, I wanted to keep my degree as a backup no matter what I wanted that safety uh, safety net mm-hmm. uh, but I, I I when I joined this agency mainly for my music they kind of pushed me into acting so it happened when I was around 8 17 18 years old mm-hmm. um and I started auditioning and um knowing absolutely nothing at all about the craft because I didn't really um it just it was my first time doing stuff like this I remember my first audition was for some head and shoulders and and uh, you know we had to do something and i was just feeling really out of place and i started then kind of reading about it and researching about it uh, and being the nerd that i was i kind of like got into it a bit more on a deeper level and that's when i fell in love with the craft um and obviously i had an inclination towards performing arts because i used to love going on stage and performing sure. with my little band so uh, that same thing translated into acting and uh, then i just fell in love with it then i got the kida and films i always grew around uh, grew up around like f- films like all of us here do yeah. uh, and in, in at home there was this culture of like appreciating a film talking about films I love uh, that. so i came i kind of grew up in that that space where art was uh, appreciated and talked about so those things were always happening around me mm. um and that kida happened in college uh, and then it just translated into this i kept auditioning i think i started at 18 and this project happened when i was 20 um Uh, right out of college after i finished my yeah. degree so i think it's been a it's been an interesting journey yeah, kind yeah. of it it kind of looked like it was supposed to meant to be happens yeah it? yeah mm, but you were telling me you were an actor you were obsessed with 
uh, Rithik Roshan was I was just fascinated mm-hmm. by him being the you know the actor and the dancer Kauna that he was yeah, yeah I think Kahona Pyar Hai was a bit before yeah. I started watching films I would have been too young yeah. but I think the first memory I have is uh, Dhoom 2 and Krish and I used to I used to be so fascinated as a kid so um, him obviously I remember I tried to like start dancing because I saw him Love that. as a kid um, and then as I grew up uh, I started branching out into more things uh, started watching more Hollywood films foreign films and there was, there's a lot of actors I look up to I think it changes like every I can't say I have a favorite yeah. actor it changes every year um, but yeah Cool. Okay, this is my last segment. This is the fun question. What's the funniest nicknames that people have given you? Funniest? Uh, Ved, Vedu. Uh, I get called Vedant a lot. <laughs> it's not my name. Uh, yeah, I think that's Reg. Reg. Yeah. That's a nice one to uh, have. That's a sweet one, yeah. Okay. The weirdest DM that you have received? Weirdest DM? Or it can be embarrassing. Embarrassing DM. Weirdest DM. Uh, Post the release. Post the release. I can't think of one, but off the top of my head, somebody got, just got really aggressive. They said, hi, you're so sweet, I really love you. And yeah. then uh, I didn't reply. Uh, and uh, then they said, go to hell or something along those lines. A bit more vulgar than that. <laughs> but I was like, I thought you were, you know, you were exactly. being sweet and supportive, but then it suddenly switched. Okay, that's, so. that's weird. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Okay. One quality of veggies that you like and one that you absolutely don't. Quality of? Reggie that you like. Uh, one quality of Reggie that I like, that he, he, he is... Uh, uh, he cares about people around him mm. and is going to look after them. What I don't like is how vain and cocky he is. Yeah. He can tone it down a bit. Mm. Yeah. Way to Vedang's heart is? Way to Vedang's heart is kindness. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. What is Vedang looking for in his life partner? In his life partner? Uh, somebody who is loyal and, and, and sweet and hard working. Reggie is a natural for flirt. Reggie. Is Vedang. Oh, I'm not. I'm horrible at fl- I, I don't do it. I'm actually, I'm, I'm a bit more on the, in- like, I'm right in the middle of the spectrums. I'm, I'm more on the introverted side than extroverted. I'm very shy in public places and very contrasting uh, to my character. Okay. Vedang's wish list will have collaboration with which female actor, which director and which even male actor? Oh, God, that's such a tough one. Collaboration with which female actor... Uh, can I go outside this industry? Sure. Sure, I can. Okay. I mean, I would have loved if you give me within. We can give you two. Come. One outside and one inside. So, there's an actor called Sosha Ronan. Uh, she's fantastic. Uh, I would love to work with her. A director. There's so many. I, I, it's so hard to name one. But um, uh, I think it's everyone's dream to work with uh, Bansali. Uh, yeah. And a male actor who I would like to work with. Um, How can I name one? I'm a big fan of Ranbir Kapoor. I think he's a fantastic actor. Great. Yeah. Okay. What is the best meme that you've seen about yourself? Best meme? Like, a, it can be a funny one. It can be anything that you... I'm seeing some edits going around. I think they're, they're really sweet. Some of them are really funny. So, those. Thank you, Vedang. I you. hope you've Thank enjoyed you. it. Thank you for being honest and, and giving us an insight into a little bit into who you are. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a part two of it soon. I'm sure there'll be sure. so much. Sure. So much more to talk about. But I hope you had fun because yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you so much. All the very best. And we're pretty sure that you have so much more to offer. Thank you. Lots Thank of you. love. Thank you. Lots of love.